This is the first of our flood house tests at Brands. The program involves the construction of four small light timber frame structures that have the main elements of typical New Zealand building stock. This includes concrete slab on ground with direct fixed cladding, concrete slab on ground with cavity batten, subfloor system, piles and bearers etc. with direct fixed cladding, subfloor system with cavity batten. The subfloor houses also include a variety of different flooring types. Each test house includes different types of insulation, including one more with no insulation at all. The test houses will be flooded to approximately 4 to 500 millimetres above the finished floor level, and we will hold the water level there for 24 hours. A flood barrier system is used to create a bund around each test house, and the barrier is then lined with a membrane that's laid up to the concrete for the slab on ground house, and laid and taped under the subfloor style houses. This is a three-year project. During the project, we will be looking at the effects of floodwaters on different combinations of materials to see how they perform during the drying out process. Different remedial approaches post-flooding will also be looked at. The project aims to provide useful information to designers, building officials and homeowners for properties that are going to be or are already situated in flood-prone areas. This particular flood house is a concrete slab on ground with direct fixed cladding. We've been pleasantly surprised by how well the test worked, especially as it is extremely difficult to create a watertight bund around the house. The water that leaked into the surrounding soil has been captured by a field drain that drains to a 1200ml deep concrete lined pit with a manhole. During the test a sump pump is located within the pit. This pump reticulates the lost flood water back into the bund, thereby helping to maintain the flood water height. We have used thermocouples for temperature measurement inside and outside of the wall cavity on each wall of this house and below and above the first 800mm high dwang. Humidity and moisture content probes are similarly located within the wall cavity, with the moisture probes measuring the moisture content of the bottom plate and at the first dwang. Subsequent test houses will have similar sensor equipment. After the floodwaters have been drained, monitoring of the temperature, humidity and moisture content will be conducted with a data logged at regular intervals for later analysis. An existing test house, which the WAVE project has been monitoring, will be used as a reference or benchmark for a dry property. It's expected that the humidity and moisture content values for the post-flood test houses will reach these values.